RC Action Australia. How's everybody out there? Hopefully everybody had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's. Um, so I'm looking forward to sort of kickstarting the channel again in 2020. Um, I had some thoughts there to sort of end it. But, um, you know, in the last couple of months I was trending up in the watch time. Subscribers were slowly trending in. So I've decided to continue. Uh, I've bought a few kits. Um, so everybody out there, hit like, hit subscribe, chuck some comments down below. Um, as I said, this is just a hobby and a lot of time and effort goes into making the videos. Um, so I do really appreciate people um, who give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe and all your feedback is very much appreciated. So to kick off our first build, um, we have got a Top Force. Now I purchased a combo kit that had the carbon fiber chassis plates, had the um, uh, high cap dampers, sorry, and I purchased a set of uh, a packet of rip dye. So we've dyed up some wheels, so we've got some Evo uh, look-alike wheels. Now actually a friend of mine has a real set of these and basically you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. The colour is spot on. So, um, and I've purchased the PS23 and I've also ordered some MCI racing decals guys. So this is what we're going to unbox today. I'm going to show you what's in the kit, show you the other parts that came in the combo kit and just to sort of keep you updated with what's going on here, you'll obviously see that I do have another set of um, tire, wheels and tyres here that I also did rip dye. Um, so that's my manta ray and I'm going to convert that into a terra conqueror so I've got the parts to be able to do that so I just believe that the, the front diff's a bit different the um, suspension arms are adjustable and obviously the wheels and tires body shell and the shock absorbers are black not yellow so fortunately um, I'm going to build this car first because a lot of the parts on this car that I'm not going to use, like the shocks, um, things like that, I'll be putting onto this car. Um, so this car, was the original kit will be a bit of a donor kit. Um, and I can also use the factory um, carbonate um, composite um, top and lower deck that comes standing on the top fours if I wanted to spec up the Terra Conqueror a little bit. So we'll get cracking onto the unboxing, guys. As always, hit like, hit subscribe. The support is very much appreciated. Okay guys, so well, let's lift the top off the box and see what's in the kit. So as you can see, it's beautiful, typical um, Tamiya here. Get the box off guys. So as you can see, um, we've got the top force. Um, it's a 100th RC car anniversary kit. Um, as you can see there, we've got obviously pictures of the chassis. And sort of what to expect building it there and just sort of nothing too special on the box there so let's look at the kit now I do apologize guys because when I did receive this kit it um, the outer box that it was in in postage was um, cracked and it looks like the box had been um, sat on so I did contact the seller unfortunately they didn't really care and I will not be buying another thing off them but anyway let's see what's in the kit so that's our top force high capacity damper set um, so as I said that's the ones that came on the Evo with the um, sort of grey um, alloy shocks there so we'll build those up we've got our PS23 paint we have obviously our wheels and tires that we writ dyed and I said they turned out absolutely fantastic you wouldn't actually even tell that they were um, dyed I was quite surprised in how well they turned out so I also picked up a set of bearings now I was pretty disappointed that this car um, doesn't come with bearings and I mean this is sort of yeah, anyway, I was a bit blown away because I've bought a few cheaper kits lately which 
to me or it included bearings but um yeah so i've picked up a set of bearings here what else have we got uh, this is just a, a motor that i'm going to be putting in it um is an rz super stock so i believe that's a 23 turn motor so i want to keep this sort of all sort of tamiya built this car also this car doesn't come with a, an electronic speed controller so but i have quite a few of these um, laying around so we may just put the um, tbl eo2s in um, what else have we got in the kit here so this is the top force carbon chassis conversion kit as you can see nice carbon fiber there and it also comes with um, extra turn buckles um, and suspension arms there which is nice well they're probably steering and suspension arms so obviously you get the top plate the lower plate and the shock towers in that so that's what came as the combo kit so they're the extras um, and as you can see we've just got our normal Tamiya plastics here we've got our um, wheels our tires sorry um, so we've, got here, we've got our body and wing and we have got obviously instruction manual over here and the factory top force decals which are quite bright and quite nice but as I said we're going to be going down the um, Evo route with this just to sort of make something a little bit more special so what have we got in this box here okay so this box here guys we've got sort of our factory um, chassis plates which is not plastic it's some sort of a fibrous um, material it's not carbon fiber but I think it's sort of like a um, fiberglass resiny sort of stuff sort of like a look-alike carbon fiber and we've obviously got all of our normal parts bags and as I said there guys this kit doesn't come with um, ball bearings it comes with these brass bearings which is a little bit disappointing but um, and obviously we have a standard 540 motor that they've probably tried to make look fancy by putting a genuine Tamiya motor sticker on it. Um, but as you can see, if we get a normal 540 here, they've both got the exact same Mabuchi uh, markings on the motor. So I think Tamiya has just sort of run out of ideas and tried to put a sticker on it to make it look a bit more special for the Top Force kit. But obviously we won't be using that. Um, so that's it for the unboxing guys it's there's not a lot of um, sort of special parts in here obviously it does have the universal drive shafts so there's a few um, nice little upgrades that are included in the standard kit so I'm gonna crack on guys I'm gonna get this build started and hopefully um, we'll get those decals will arrive soon and we can sort of start to put a Top Force Evo tribute car together. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Um, as I said, it's been a big decision of mine to keep the channel going in 2020. So your support is very much appreciated. So I'm going to get on to building this car now. Um, so obviously, I've chucked this video up. But obviously, check out some of my other videos, guys. Um, we'll put a lot of content out. And thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, thank you.